doy las gracias a la representante de la República de Corea por su declaración. Doy ahora la palabra al representante de Afganistán. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President, for convening this important debate. I'd also like to thank the representative of OSHA, ICRC, and Ms. Walt Elman for their briefings. The protection of civilians is a pressing priority for the government of Afghanistan. The Afghan people have suffered for over 30 years as a result of uh, war and conflict and continue to suffer today. This past year was the deadliest year for civilians in Afghanistan since 2001. The Taliban and other extremist armed groups are responsible for the overwhelming majority of civilian casualties in Afghanistan. They directly target civilians with their brutal, violent campaigns and utter disregard for human life. They carry out heinous acts of terror on mosques, markets, schools, homes, and critical infrastructure and threaten communities by planting improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and launching suicide and complex attacks in public places. They target men, women, children, clergy, tribal, uh, tribal elders, government officials, and justice sector employees alike. Let me be clear. Attacks on the civilians are a sign of weakness. They are not a sign of strength. They are a, a serious violation of international humanitarian law and breach of the basic tenet, tenets of Islam. Mr. President, the women of uh, Afghanistan have borne the brand of conflict for over 30 years of war. They have been the biggest victims of violence. This past year in Afghanistan was particularly deadly for women, with 12% more women killed and injured than the previous year. Women in Afghanistan, including women in public roles and girls seeking education, are often targeted for all forms of gender-based violence. Even when their lives are not directly at risk, women's uh, livelihood are uh, impacted by uh, negative consequences of violent conflict. When husbands, parents, siblings, and uh, guardians die or become handicapped, women are often left as the sole breadwinners in the family. Many uh, lack access to paid work and financial resources, and this impedes their ability to provide for themselves and their families and uh, makes them vulnerable to exploitation. Women displaced by conflict are also economically vulnerable and at the heightened uh, risk of exploitation and discrimination. Mitigating the specific impact on, of uh, conflict on women is a priority for the government of Afghanistan. In this regard, the government is uh, implementing Security Council Resolution 1325 and its subsequent resolutions through Afghanistan's National Action Plan on uh, 1325 for Women, Peace and Security, uh, which uh, was uh, signed in October 2014 in Afghanistan's National, uh, National Action Plan for Women of Afghanistan, NAPWA. Moreover, the government uh, recognizes the importance of women's active participation in ending conflict, and it's committed to ensuring the women's voices are presented in peace, reconciliation, and development efforts in the country. Mr. President, as armed extremists of Afghanistan uh, launch increasing attacks on civilians around the country, the Afghan National Defense and Security Forces, ANDSF, are engaged in large-scale counter-terrorism and counter-insurgency efforts. It's uh, tragic that Afghan civilians, including women and children, are caught in the crossfire of security operations. However, I would like to emphasize that the Afghan forces are doing their utmost to ensure that the safety of, the safety of civilians is central to their campaigns and uh, taking all necessary measures to prevent Afghan uh, civilian loss of life. Thousands uh, of Afghan security forces lost their lives fighting uh, armed insurgents uh, their bravery and sacrifices a testament to the government's strong commitment to protect civilians and bring peace and security to the country. 
In addition, the government of Afghanistan is pursuing the vigorous implementation of our national counter ID strategy and facilitating ongoing training of the Afghan national security and defense forces to conduct counter ID operations in disposal. Unfortunately, a number of civilian casualties occur as a result of explosive remnants of war, ERWs. ERWs pose a serious threat to Afghan civilians, particularly children. Indeed, the majority of the casualties caused by ERW have uh, been children. With the sharp rise in uh, uh, kinetic engagement in 2014, and the conclusion of the International Security Assistance Forces ICE of mission, the associated risk of uh, ERW to civilian life is at the highest level. In this regard, I would like to highlight the importance of robust efforts to fully support the ENDS, uh, ENDSF to mark hazardous uh, areas, uh, ensure clearance of uh, uh, explosive remnant of war, ERWs, from uh, the battlefield and continue awareness raising programs that educate civilian, uh, particularly children, of the deadly dangers of ERWs. Mr. President, the cycle of vi violence that has uh, interrupted the, life of, uh, the lives of innocent Afghans for over 30 years must stop. To this end, my government is vigorously pursuing a reconciliation agenda with the armed opposition and engagement with the countries in the region to move the process forward. With the support of the international community and our neighbors, peace and security can be realized in Afghanistan and all civilians can live uh, with honor and dignity in a country free from violence. Thank you, Mr. President. I thank the representative of Afghanistan for his statement.